the HBCU Creative Cohort, an exceptional internship and scholarship initiative. We influence students to be creative change makers through media. Kicking off in Georgia at Clark Atlanta University, Spelman, Morehouse, and Morris Brown College. Man, the HBCU cohort, this has been one heck of a semester, man. Like, we kicked this thing off January 18th. So we've been going strong for like 11, 12 weeks two times a week. We was only gonna be meeting one time a month, once or twice a month, and now we meeting twice a week. Everybody. I am your girl Chrissy, a proud Southern Belle from Memphis, Tennessee. I am a graduating singer at the illustrious Clark Atlanta University. And it is a blessing and an honor to be a part of the HBCU cohort here. I have learned so much um, as far as team collaboration, leadership, and just being who you are authentically. Um, I've been able to just be my authentic self um, around amazing other young people. And that is just a blessing in disguise because generations before me um, did not have that privilege. So with my generation being, you know, the foundation of something such as this, it is simply incredible. And I'm just so grateful that God allowed me to be a part of it. The students love it. What's happening, y'all? I'm TJ, and I'm part of the HBCU Creative Cohort, and I'm a sophomore at Morris Brown College. One thing that I've seen grow within the uh, cohort is the amount of people that we actually have in the cohort. We went from like three to four to like almost 20 now. Different opportunities, um, such as like some of my colleagues, they having a, they've been having an opportunity to go network at different uh, record labels like LVRN, for example. Um, different, they get, they got to go to different photo shoots uh, for Upscale a magazine and reveals and things of that such. Like it's just um, an opportunity to just broaden ourselves and like be bigger than what we are and just show us that it's much more than our small circle of or community. Students want an experience where they can allow their voices to be heard and they really want to work together you know what I'm saying it just takes somebody to organize the efforts and, and show them that they really you know can trust this process of creating a culture to allow for collaboration because that's what we're doing um, it's been beautiful They know we are who we say we are now. They actually call us to come out and hang with them and go to events when something comes up that, you know, they feel like, oh, we should invite them to this. You know, they invite us to a movie premiere the other day. Um, so, yeah, I think trust, they really consider us like family now. So, yeah, and I think that's important, trust. This is HBCU cohort, cool conversation truck. Get you some merch, get you a hat. We even got shoes. I don't know if we sell shoes, but we got shoes. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Asia from Clark Atlanta University, a sophomore mass media arts major, and I am here with the HBCU Creative Cohort where we have cool conversations. This experience has been very eye-opening, um, knowledgeable, it has opened doors that I never thought, you know, I would venture out to, you know, it made me expand my mind a little more, let me not, make me not be so closed-minded, you know, there are things that I can reach and can obtain at this very young age just based off the conversation that the people that they, you know, brought on that we spoke to. So that's been very helpful. What's up? My name is Jay Century. I'm from Philadelphia. I currently go to Clark Atlanta University and I'm with the HBCU Creative Cohort. The experience was very, very helpful for me. Like I said, I'm from Philly. So I came to Clark for the HBCU experience. 
and the cohort has definitely helped enhance that experience for me i've met so many people that i probably would not have met without the cohort just from the short amount of time that i've been here so yeah just help me with my like i said my conversation doing the podcast projecting my speaking voice when i need to <laughs> stuff like that so for sure the hbcu core definitely helped me with a bunch of stuff like that communication for sure okay. debt to income ratio this is the most important equation of your life boom right the most important equation of your life right this is your monthly debts divided by your gross income. Okay? Write it down again. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Cheyenne Taylor from Clark Atlanta University and I'm part of the HBCU Creative Cohort. This experience for me has opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Um, I came in really not knowing how I would fit in to the HBCU Creative Cohort because I'm not a person that usually like sings or you know does that type of stuff. But I do write and I have you know, articles that are being published in the Upskill magazine that the HBCU Creative Cohort provides. And now I have an opportunity to have an internship where I write articles and I'm getting paid for them. It's so much more to come. Like, I feel like this semester was so short. Like, the two months that we really, because we got started, but recruited mid-January. We started in February. So we really, it's been two months for real. And we've done, we've done a lot, but we have so much more planned. And it's like, I just can't wait to do everything because we have so much planned. And they're going to benefit so much from it. So, yeah, if, if you're looking to do anything creative, if you are wanting to connect with other like-minded individuals, if you feel like you don't fit in anywhere, I promise you, you'll fit in here. Like... It's a no judgment zone. Everybody is just, we're here to expand our creativity. Even me and Will, like, they push us to step outside the box and just keep pushing them. To have to push them and push them outside of their box makes us think bigger. And we already think big. Man, y'all need to get with the cohort. The HBCU creative cohort. Because it's the land of opportunity. I mean, it's a million people. I don't have a lot of people come up to me and tell me like, man, I wish it was something like this available for me or myself or my friends when we was in college. Cause it's like, with the opportunities that they provide for us, excuse my language, I, I do have a broad vocabulary, vocabulary, but we damn near have our foot in the door, door. So why not take advantage of it? And it's like, the creative director, True, and uh, Willie Millions, like, man, them people really, they have our best interests at heart. Like, I can tell, like, they not just doing this, like, they rock with me.